Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 14 today, verses 15 to 20. And uh, we're starting a couple of here. We're going to look at, at what I call dealing with the excusians. I hope you're not one of those. Here's what the scripture tells us. Now, when one of those who sat at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is he who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then he said to him, A certain man gave a great supper and invited many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. But they all with one accord began to make excuses. And the first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must go and see it. I ask you to have me excused. I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. Still another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So these people are all throwing excuses. There's the, the, the air is thick with excuses being thrown all over the place. Listen, the king is, the king is having a wedding. This is a big deal. And he's invited you. You, you, and you're out there saying, "Look, I, I'm too busy counting cardboard boxes. You know, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't come. You know, this is an insult to the king. This is an insult, and this is showing a a, a twisted, distorted set of values. When the king calls you to his wedding, that's going to be a big day for the king." But you're too busy doing every which thing, commonly common things. Sorry, man, I just can't come. That's a terrible, uh, terrible indignity. Now, we're going to look tomorrow morning at the response of the king, but this is the response of the people. And this is a, a warning for us. Many times God comes to us. He comes to us with, with great blessings. He comes to us with great opportunities. And what's, what's the business? Oh, you know, I, I'm too busy. I can't come to prayer meeting. Oh, I'm too busy. I had to miss church this weekend. Oh, I'm too busy. I couldn't come to that to that important meeting that you held. Uh, I couldn't. I just couldn't be with the community. I uh, what? I have a new lawnmower. I have to use. What? What is this? God has plans for us, and we should be close with each other as a church, as a local church community. And we should certainly be close to the Lord in every occasion we meet together, whether it's church, whether it's a, a Sabbath school kind of a program, you know, you're learning from the Bible together in a class kind of a setting, whether it's a prayer meeting or some other event. Each of these occasions is an occasion where God can pour out his Holy Spirit on the body, on the group. And when we stay away from these occasions, we're kind of saying to God, it's not that important to me. The group isn't that important to me. Eh, I'll, I'll go if it's convenient. I wouldn't want to be in that situation because the Lord is looking for us to bless his church and for them to bless us. We've got a lot of things that we need. We need it from God's own people. And if we don't let them give it to us, we're going to be at a deficit. So God wants to bless us through each other. What are we doing? So let's take a lesson from this. Tomorrow morning, we'll see how the king reacts. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an intense morning. Hey, the Lord bless you. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, Help us, help us. We, we, many of us are excusians ourselves. We make excuses instead of participating in the things in our local church where we could be a blessing to others and receive the blessings you have for us through others. We're, we're wimping out. We're not, we're not being true to being disciples. Oh, Lord, help us to be true disciples of Jesus that your people may be blessed. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, the Lord bless you as you bless the Lord's people and all other people.